Hello everyone, this is HJ Halloween, and today I am back with another prop ideas video. So this is the eighth episode, and a lot of you guys have probably been wondering where the heck I've been. It's been over a month now since the last episode, and honestly guys, I just started to kind of run out of ideas. I had a lot going on with school and finals and everything, and I just didn't really have that much motivation to continue the series, but recently, um, school has just ended, ideas have been popping into my head, and I have the last three episodes ready to go so I will be popping them out probably pretty close to each other it won't be like a full week in between them because I did make you guys wait so long for this one and so I apologize for that huge delay but I am back and we will have a more consistent upload schedule throughout the rest of the summer and into Halloween guys we are well over halfway to Halloween sneak peek start up sometime in July so it's it's right around the corner guys so there is going to be a finale to this series that will come out about a week after the 10th episode. So that will have a lot of cool things going on in it. There will be some collaborations, so make sure you're looking out for that. And don't forget about the bonus episode that I'm doing. I still am doing that, even though I took this long break. I haven't forgot about you guys. I've been looking at your comments. They're pretty cool. So I will be choosing my top five as soon as the 10th episode is uploaded. That's the last time you can leave the comments, and then I will probably start working on that video right then and there. So make sure you have your comments out. If you have ideas, leave them now um, so that I can get to them and have them for that bonus episode, which will probably come out about two weeks to a month after the finale. So a little bit deeper into the summer, but it will be coming out sometime soon. All right, so today's episode is on the zombie poppin' pumpkin. This was one that came to me pretty recently, and it's a really simple concept. It's just a jack-o'-lantern, a plastic pumpkin that has a zombie arm that pops out of it. Spirit Halloween has done things kind of similar to this, but with a different uh, concept. They had the um, gravestone that had that arm swing around. So this would be a bit of a, a similar prop. It could, you know, the arm could look virtually exactly the same, and it could just be a pumpkin addition to it. I personally really like that gravestone with the arm popping out. Um, and they could definitely do something really simple like this because someone could just put it on their porch, um, make it look like it's a you know regular pumpkin, and then this zombie arm pops out. Of course, the zombie arm popping out would be a pretty violent motion, so this plastic pumpkin would need some sort of weight um, to the bottom of it. It wouldn't necessarily need a base, but it would need something. Um, the arm itself would be pretty light, though. And I was just surprised that this idea has never been executed before. It seems really really, really simple. Um, just a zombie arm popping out of the top of a pumpkin, but it actually has never been done by Spirit Halloween. I could not find anything online. Sometimes when I do have these ideas, I do look them up just to see maybe somebody has done them already. And this one, I don't think it has ever been done. I think it would be a really good seller at Spirit Halloween. Um, now, considering, though, that their prices are on the rise, it would probably be a little bit more expensive than you would expect. I mean, I would put this, you know, fairly at like $70, maybe. I would put it even, even less than that, to be fair. However, when we see things like Tricycle Doll... Um, that's really the only one that comes to me right now. But And even like that swing that had nothing on it. Those prices, I think the tricycle doll, you know, correct me if I'm wrong because I probably am, was like $80, $90 or something like that. And we, we've seen a lot of you know little tombstone type things uh, like the one with the arm swinging out, uh, the one with the shovel rocking back and forth. They're like $90. So they're not very expensive compared to other props. But for how small they are, it seems overpriced. But Spirit Halloween prices in general are on the rise. So I would probably expect this since it's like a full pumpkin and an arm popping out if the arm was really detailed to probably be around a hundred dollars that's probably what it like realistically would sell at but i would put it at lower um to make the price actually fair so this pumpkin wouldn't necessarily need to light up it probably would i drew it dark in the um the, the mouth and in the eyes literally just because it looked better in the picture than keeping it completely white that was the only reason however i would expect them to kind of have that yellow plastic film or that yellow just that yellow plastic like cover behind the eyes and behind the mouth and then have an led light that could literally just be white on the inside to make it look like it's lighting up and flickering yellow like a pumpkin with a candle in it 
And in theory, they could just put a yellow LED in there and leave those parts open, but they would probably make more, it would probably make more sense for them to put a plastic cover over it so that you can't see the mechanisms in the arm inside there. So it would look, um, excuse me, it would look normal uh, when it was going. It would look like it's lighting up, but you would only see yellow. You wouldn't be able to see inside like you would if it was open. Um, and the arm itself would be holding the top of the pumpkin in order to make it do that though the fingers couldn't be really you know grasping it all the way up around the sides because then it wouldn't be able to go back down and lay flush with the top of the pumpkin it would have to have some slits that are slanted sort of outwards um on the pumpkin itself on that rim there so that the fingers could come back down and fit and be able to you know kind of be up in there i don't i don't know if this makes any sense but it would be a little bit of a difficult task to have it look normal like it's holding it and its fingers are up around it but also have the top be able to come back down and lay flush on it they'd have to figure out something how they can make it have space for those fingers to fit it would it would be a little bit strange so i don't know if that makes any sense but that was something that i did think about um the hand itself could be sort of a cartoonish type of zombie where it's it's more you know green um has cuts on it has veins like that and it could just have a plaid shirt it would likely be even more basic than this it'd probably look just like the one that comes and comes swings around the tombstone but really whatever they want for the zombie arm as far as the audio goes, it's pretty much up in the air. I didn't really have any set idea for it. It probably would just have some sort of like a crackling noise that they could sound like a fire or the candle inside. It could maybe play like crickets, some sort of eerie farm music or something. I don't really know what they do with these kind of props that don't have phrases. Uh, the only thing that would be for sure is that when the zombie arm pops out, it would just make one of those typical zombie screams that they use just give it a little bit of a jump scare and that's pretty much all i can think of for the audio i guess the last thing that i'll speak on for it is just the mechanism that it would use inside it would probably be kind of a challenge to fit something super complex inside of a pumpkin and now that i think of it it might make more sense for it to have sort of a metal it could have a metal or a um, wooden base underneath where there could be a module on the back and the, the arm could be attached and stuff instead of just having it all concealed inside of this pumpkin, which would be cool if they would they could were able to do that. Um, it would be much more convenient um, for placing in some sort of a display. But the arm itself, I guess, would just have a mechanism like Peekaboo Penny did. I'm not sure if they could fit that in there or if that would work for this because it Peekaboo Penny was a lot larger of a prop. Um, but if they could do something like that where it just has this spring action thing and then pulls it back down, that would be completely fine. Um, one of the biggest challenges, I think I've said this before, would just be the fact that um, the pumpkin would jolt up so much when the arm shoots out that they would definitely have to have some sort of a weight at the bottom. And a base would probably help for that if they had one of those heavy wooden bases for it. So that is it for the zombie poppin' pumpkin. Please let me know what you think of it in the comment section below. It's probably one of my favorites. It's it's basic, but I would love to see it at Spirit Halloween. I would definitely buy this guy. Um, and don't forget to go and follow me on Instagram. A link to my Instagram will be in the comment section below um, throughout the next uh, Halloween season. You can get a lot of cool sneak peeks and just extra pictures and stuff over there. So make sure you go ahead and follow me if you haven't already. Thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you guys next time.